the last century, some 75% of crop varieties have been lost, according to the UN's Food and Agriculture Organization. They say that we now rely on just three crops, wheat, rice and maize, for 60% of our calories. And poorer countries are almost twice as dependent on these cereals as richer nations. But are we relying on too few crops? In southern India, scientists are on their way to the Kali Hills. An ancient culture is changing, and these scientists believe that some old traditions point the way ahead out of what they see as a future global food crisis. So this is the Kali Hills from here? Yeah, this is the Kali Hill. We are at the, we are at the base of the hill. Now we will be climbing very soon. And you can see up there where this the, the, the clouds the cloud, are touching yeah. the hillocks. Uh -huh. That is the Koli Hill. Oh, wonderful. Beautiful. The Koli Hills are mountains of the Eastern Ghat range in Tamil Nadu. Nearly 40,000 people eke out a living high above the plains. You can see some white lines there, up there. Yeah, yeah. That is a road, when we a winding road. Okay. With the 74 hairpin cuts, mm. wow. we'll be reaching 2100 plus okay. feet above. Until the 1960s, when the road was built, they were all but cut off from the land below. The scientists are going to see the farming families who have been tilling the land for centuries. They are beginning to have some success in a project to reintroduce a once popular grain, millet. But it's not easy. Millet has been neglected by science and is of little commercial value. Many farmers have switched to cash crops, using the money to buy cheap rice. Although globally now a minor crop, millet is both highly nutritious and very tough. Millet could help provide secure food for the future around the world, especially with the threat of climate change. Back in the Kali Hills, Oliver King is talking to another cassava farmer who is not sure he wants to pay the price. He says money is very important in his life because he has to maintain his family, getting the better clothes and for the construction of his home, getting rice from the public distribution system and also for the festival time, you know, he requests a lot of money. That is why he prefers this crop. He says people are saying all these uh, nutritious crops like finger millets are very important, very nutritious. That is why I am also thinking of cultivating some of the grains at my land. Mm -hmm. He is also looking for a, the alternative system, especially millets, because the day by day the nutrition in the soil is depleting now, because they have been cultivating for about 10 years. So now the productivity in the tapioca is also declining now. So that's an important uh, message he is delivering to us.